Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Matt with a review of Pages for iCloud. Let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to iCloud.com. Once you are there, you have to sign into iCloud with your Apple ID and password. Once you signed in, you can now use the new Pages application, which is completely online. It is in beta, so keep that in mind. Just click on Pages to get started. Once everything loads, you can see all your Pages documents, including ones from your Mac, iPhone, iPad, or iPod. It is also very simple to create a new document. You can choose between a wide variety of templates, from blank ones, to reports, to letters, to resumes, envelopes, business cards, to flyers and posters, cards, and newsletters. I'll show you a blank template, just to show how you can edit documents completely online, and to show you what the UI looks like. And as you can see, the UI is very simple, very Apple-like. On the top right, you have your zoom controls for your document. Next to that, you have your undo and redo buttons. In the middle, you can create text boxes, shapes, and import your images from your computer. And on the right, you have the ability to easily share your document. You can also get access to all the different tools. You can do a search and replace, change some of the settings, including hiding the format panel, turning on or off spell check, center guides, edge guides, and spacing guides. You can also easily get help, download a copy for your Mac, send a copy via email, and print the document. You can also go back to all your documents and completely sign out of iCloud. And of course, you can simply just type whatever you want to, and you have all the same editing tools you'll find on any word processing program. But what's nice about this is it's basically all online, so that makes it pretty nice. You can change the paragraph style, font from a variety of options, obviously change the size of the font as well. You can adjust the line spacing and paragraph spacing. Also, you can add bullet points if you want to very easily. And those are all the different text options. Next, I will show you some of the different shape options you get. It's very simple to create them just by going up to the top. It's great for creating some cool designs if you want to do that. So as you can see, you now have different options for that shape. You can easily change the color of the shape and adjust things like the fill color, border size and border color, and style as well. Adding text is simple. Just start to type and it will fill the shape. And of course, you can edit the text inside just by going to the text menu. You can also arrange the text very easily. You can drag an object anywhere on the page and see your text automatically wrap around it. Creating great looking letters, reports, flyers, and more in your browser has never been easier using the power of pages for iCloud. Go ahead and think big. Whether you're wrapping text around an image or editing a document you imported from Microsoft Word, pages respond so quickly and fluidly, you may forget you're working on the web. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.